the underground in about 20 minutes' time. Now, you rem might remember last week we previewed an impressive art collection going under the hammer. Well, it's been an absolute knockout. That auction, which included works by Kiwi artist Bill Hammond, has fetched a total of $3.7 million. Joining us now is Webb's head of art, Charles Nino. Good morning to you, Charles. Morning. Talk us through the results. The, the headline really is the Bill Hammond melting moments, yeah. which, which went for how much? It went for $940,000, essentially a million dollars for all intents and purposes, a million dollar sale. And the thing about that, I guess, it, Hammond, he, for, for just a small window, he was New Zealand's most expensive contemporary artist or that you could buy, but that was quite several hundred thousand dollars ago. And this is the yeah. most expensive Hammond ever, isn't it? That's correct. By a significant margin, it's, it's, it's more than double the last record. Why did these, who is this mystery man? Can we ask? <laughs> well, you can ask. He will still remain a mystery, but he is a very dedicated collector. As I say, he's been collecting for a long time. This catalogue represented many, many years, many decades of collecting. It was a sort of a, a snapshot of, of, of New Zealand art at a time and a snapshot uh, in his life. Charles, I want to know, are they New Zealand or international buyers? And are these people investors who want to resell this work or are they art lovers who want to hang them on their walls forever? Most uh, collectors who buy works from us are art lovers first. So the reason why they are willing to pay such significant sums for these works is because they love them and they're hard to come by. Uh, a painting like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, there's definitely, obviously, there's definitely an upside in owning a work like this. It's probably a bit like owning um, uh, property on Queen Street, right? Uh, in, in 50 years' time, uh, it's going to be even more significant and more relevant and more valuable. Always? Does that ever depreciate? Not, not, not blue-chip paintings. Blue-chip paintings uh, always go up. Uh, obviously, some art does depreciate, but it depends uh, entirely on what you buy, entirely on what you buy. If you buy the right things, then uh, it can be a very, very sound investment. You had a few um, Bill Hammonds in this auction. Um, now that the market, I guess, has been tested and found to be quite buoyant in, in Hammonds, would you expect a few more of them to come out of the woodwork? I would love to see a few more come out of the woodwork. Uh, to the public out there, uh, please, uh, uh, you, you know my number, it's on the website, but in all seriousness, uh, they are quite rare. That's why it's sold for um, so much money. I mean, we did $1.5 million in total sales of Hammond's work across the four paintings. So uh, that's a lot. And the thing is, they are rare. He made the, the bird paintings quite late in his career. It took him quite a while to get onto that idea, and he only made them for a short period of time. So there really are not that many out there. If it's such a good investment, could I just toodle poop down to the bank and get a loan to buy it? Or are these people, are these people paying with cash? They're paying with cash. That's the other amazing thing. They are paying with cash. So, so this is this this amount of money is changing hands. It's not like buying a house where you where you turn up with a percentage of the of the price. These people are paying well, not in cash, but uh, but but in real money. Yeah. Charles, very quickly before we go, can you just go up to that painting to just show us to illustrate just how huge it is? I'm, I'm slowly. So star of our the star of our next auction, uh, Mana Island by Don Binney. This is the largest work he ever painted, and it's so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. You'll love this. Look how big that is. Oh. Impressive. I, I, am, I am slowly falling in love with that, and I just wish I had a wall big enough. Some cash would help. Well, actually, some money would help as well, by <laughs> the sound of it. it. Build, build a wall. For the right painting, you should build a wall. <laughs> Charles Nino, the, the head of art at Webbs. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you for having me. The 7.30 News.